Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Beauty Crafter uh, with Shelley Lewis. So today what we'll be doing is a kind of a testing video. I received um, my very first mystery beauty box um, a few days ago. And if I just cover <laughs> the address, this is a beauty box that I received. I have had a look inside, however I've not really tested any of the makeup yet that was included. So we're going to be testing some of that today. So I have already put my base foundation on. I used um, Revolution Conceal and Define. I also used like, I think it was a collection, you know, that goes under the eyes, the, you know, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Oh gosh, I forgot the name of it. Concealer. Oh gosh, I can't believe I couldn't even remember that. And obviously I did my eyebrows and my lips because I didn't have any of those products in this box. So we're going to have a look. So the box came like that. It was absolutely beautifully wrapped. I had a message as well of the seller that I had the beauty box from. I'm not, well, basically it's just normal. It just says, hey Shelley. Hope you have as much fun with this mystery box as I did making it. So that was beautiful, added bonus. And this is what the box looked like. I'll just take that out because I was going to use that for my lips today. That didn't come in the box, but because I've already done my lips, I haven't had to. So this is what my beauty box came as. I had some really, really nice things in there. So obviously, because we're going to go in with the eyes and to test that first we're going to take this out so i had this makeup palette and this is by colourpop and this is sweet talk pressed powder palette so we're going to try that out first just get my handy dandy brushes so i've had some new brushes today as well but these i did actually order from morphe um yeah they are the jeffree star brushes <laughs> and i had the 10 pack so I'm just going to pop those on the side and we're going to have a look at the eyeshadow palette and have a look at that. There's an extra brush in there. Just get that out. So <clears throat> the palette comes in this box. Nice lovely box. On the back of the box it actually tells you some of the shade names. Well, it actually tells you the shade names that are included in this palette. And if I take it out, there is the palette. So, <clears throat> it's, <clears throat> excuse me, beautiful packaging, absolutely gorgeous. This is the first ever Colourpop palette that I have ever got, <laughs> that I ever own. So I only actually have this one palette. And this is what the shades look like so they come in beautiful beautiful shades i probably should have got some wet wipes so i can swatch a couple of them so bear with me guys while i go and grab some sorry about that guys yes i have to go and get the uh, wet wipes <laughs> yeah because we all know that we need wet wipes so these are the beauty colors within the box the palette I just love the whole packaging of it. I love the hologramic background to the different shades. So if I get some wet wipes out, we're going to have a quick swatch of some of the shades and then we're going to apply them to the eyes. So we have this one, which is Catch Me, which is a brilliant transition shade. So that is what that one looks like. That would be perfect for a transition. We have Soy side to side which is this one it's like mm, it's like a creamy glittery color so we're just gonna swatch that that one is a little bit loose in the pan so i have to be careful with that one so that is what that one looks like so it's a nice creamish like metallic gold color we have garden date which is that one there and that one is like kind of a pinky it's like a bit of a gold a pink shimmery color but with gold in it and then we have work it out which would be good as another transition shade and 
that is what that one looks like so the next one we have prime drama which is like a really pressed glitter and also with this glitter one as well with some glitter shades that you do get in some palettes that you have to get the glitter the glue to go with it to get it to stick down this one you don't need that you just apply this to the lid and this sticks down straight away so if i i'm just going to press on that and that is that one that is absolutely gorgeous and that color has not come off that finger <laughs> properly so we have meadow which is this one here and this is like a really nice pinky color we have early morning which is a gold glitter so it's like a pressed glitter as well which is that one there and on the last one we have dream maker which is that one and we have that one there so on the last one we have icymi which is that one down there that one could be nice as a good one to put in the creases so that is that one there it looks kind of red it's kind of a red red orange i would call it we have melody which is like a nice shimmery gold color one there like a nice rose gold that is so pretty and then we have wet side which is another great one for the creases and then the last one is feel free which is a dark one and this would be good for your outer corners of the eye so that is it so we'll get testing this palette i'll just wipe my fingers off there and we shall get this palette palette so we're going to get testing on the eyes so the first color that i'm going to go in with is that one which is called catch me and i'm going to use that as a transition color and the brush that i'm using for that is the js8 so i'm just going to dip that in there there's a little bit of a fallout but not too much so i'm going to use that as a transition color and I could probably do with getting a mirror. That's the only thing about this palette. It does not have a mirror. So I'm guaranteeing on the camera lens for my actual shade. So it's not too bad. It's just like a really, really nice light colour. Just for in the creases. So it's a really pretty light colour because obviously the transition shade you don't want to get too dark because of the other colours that you want to put in I think to be honest I'm going to have to get a mirror because I can't see very well in the camera sorry about that I had to get a mirror I just could not see so yeah we went in the transition shade with that catch me there so the next colour, I'm going to put a bit of colour, more colour in my creases. So the brush I'm going to use for that is the J-Star JS12 brush. And I'm going to go in with Dream Maker, which is that one there. So there is a fair bit of a fallout, so I'm going to go in in the creases with that one coming down the lid there just to give it a bit of a more fine look so it's quite pretty that is it's actually really nice so Yeah, I find it hard to talk, guys, when I'm actually doing the colour on the eyes. So, the next colour that I'm going to come in with is, but before I do that, I'm just going to get my other brush and just give it a blend out to smoothen the edges. 
And the next shade that I'm going to come in with, I'm going to pack it on the edge of my outer corner. And I think for that one, I am going to go in with, just get that dust off. Sorry about the lighting. A lot better. So now I'm going to go in with a shade, do my outer corner and also I'll bring it in over just in the crease and on my inner corner and I think for that I am actually going to go in with a darker colour I'm being brave here so I'm going to go in with that one which is I see um I which is that shade there and I'm going to pop that on my outer edge of my eye and Bring it over to the inner corner of the eye. So I'm bringing it, I'm packing it on the edge there and bringing it on the inner corner there. Bringing it out there. I think I do need to put another colour on the top of there, so I'll be doing that in a minute. I will say one thing in my video guys, my makeup is never perfect so please don't think that or <laughs> So I'm going to go in again but I think I'm going to come in with a bit of Dream Maker which is that one there and I'm just going to blend those edges out with that one. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. And to just blend those edges out and to bring the colour up. <laughs> Actually, it's quite nice. And the brushes are really nice as well because it's actually the first time that I've used those kind of brushes. I'm just bringing it up here for going in a circular motion, bringing it out, just bringing the colour up. That's quite nice, that is. Very nice coral colour. So the next thing that we're going to go in with is we're going to go in with the lids on the middle part. And for that, you know I've got to do it, guys. I've got to get the colour, the shade to do the glitter for the packing. So with that one, we are going to think we're going to come in with this here, with this side to side. And we're going to try that one. So I'm just going to use for that one as well, I'm using my JS10 brush. I'm just going to get the product on the brush it's like squishy as well i'm just going to pack that on the middle that is gorgeous that is absolutely stunning can you see that beautiful isn't it i'm just gonna pack that on there and i'm just packing that on the middle bit absolutely beautiful and just do the other eye see that is absolutely beautiful so the next thing that I do want to do is put, just wipe that off there, I just want to get a bit of colour and do it under the eye. I'm going to do that on off camera. So the next thing that I had in the beauty box was a liquid eyeliner. Now I love my liquid highliners. 
I have actually got used to them because there is a knack to this to be able to do it. So I've got this one. This is the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. And the way I do it, I'm actually going to show you the one eye. Then I'm going to do the other eye off camera. And then I'll show you the lashes. So we get... And I have to get the mirror for this. So the way I do it, how I learned off a makeup side, is we get the eyeliner. We do a little line at the edge of the eye. Like that. Just a straight line down. Bring that across the eye. And then just fill that bit in there. And then we do bring it over and then So I have not done it perfect because I usually use both of my hands to do this. So doing it with one hand off cam on camera is very difficult. So it might be actually be better with this one. So that is the eyeliner done. I had to do this eye off camera because the lighting went really funny. So that is how I get it. I do the straight line just out the corner, outer corner of my eye, bring it down, fill in that, then I bring it a little more from the front of the eye and join up, and then I do the wing. So that is how I do my wing eye line. I guarantee that that eye is a lot better than that eye that I've just done there. So the next thing I'm going to show you is lashes. <laughs> oh God. I'm not used to lashes. I don't really wear them, but this is what I had in the mystery box. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to try the lashes. And I forgot my tweezers. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I forgot the tweezers. And it comes with some lash glue as well. I am going to have to actually get the tweezers because there's no way. All right. So, it says apply glue and wait for 30 seconds before applying close to your lash. So, I didn't get any glue with the lashes. I got the lashes, but I didn't get the glue. So, unfortunately, we are unable to do that. Oh, gosh. So yeah, that is the lashes. Unfortunately, I can't apply them because I did not get the glue with them, which I thought I did. But anyhow, so the next thing we're going to go in with is mascara. Now, the mascara I didn't get in this beauty box. Uh, I've had it for a little while. I just got it from my general beauty store. Now, the one, uh, I don't technically use this one all the time, but the one we are going to go with, it's Sunkissed Showtime Lash. And that is what we're going to use. And I'm going to get my mirror again to do this. So that's what the actual bristle looks like. So it's not a bad one. It's quite all right. So I'm just going to look in this mirror here. And I've got a bit on the eye there. So it's not a bad one. Oh gosh. Now I've got it on my lower eye there. Just try and get that off. Let's do the other eye.
So it is giving my lashes a bit of volume, but it's not perfect. So that is the mascara. So guys, the last thing, well technically it's not the last thing and I've just smudged my mascara there again. So I had this little sample thing in the beauty box. This is the Emporio Armani perfume. So I'm going to put a bit of, you know what, I'm going to put a bit on. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit on. I've not tested it yet. So why not test it now? So I've not actually tested this before. Gosh, my table's in a mess. So it comes in a little, tiny little spray bottle. How cute is that? That is really cute. So I'm just going to. Oh, that smells gorgeous. That is a really, really nice, gorgeous smell to it. I really like that. Very, very nice smell. So that is the In With You perfume. So I don't think I'm going to pop that in the box. So the last thing to do for this makeup testing look is fixing spray. Now, I'm really sorry I couldn't do the lashes. I did think, I did thought that I had lash glue with them, but I didn't. So the last thing that I had in the box, I did have bits of chocolate, but I've technically already eaten them. So the last thing I had in the beauty box was a Cover Fix Illuminating Setting Spray. And this is the 120 mils, and it's clinically tested Bourbon fragrance, gluten mineral oil, and talc free vegan. So it's a vegan setting spray. And this is what the bottle looks like. So I've not actually tried this before. I don't know if you're supposed to shake the setting sprays, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> So I'll just hold it a little bit from the face and mm. so that is a very, very fine mist. It's not one that obviously that you're spraying it <laughs> spray goes straight in your face. So that is a really, really nice mist. Not to mention it does actually smell nice as well. So that is an added bonus. So guys, that is it. That is what I had in my beauty box. So I think we've got quite a nice little look here. Uh, guaranteed I couldn't do the lashes. I wish I could have done them um, just to try them out. But I actually love this eye look. It's really nice, really pretty coral colours. Um, so yes, if you want to go and check that out guys, I'm not sure if they have it on Beauty Bay, um, your best bet I'd say is to go on the actual Colourpop site and see if they've got that, but that is a really, really pretty, pretty palette and I quite like this look. So guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for for now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, I do apologise about the pausing, but then when I forgot my wipes and everything else, it's just the way it goes, it happens. So I am going to get going. I'm going to get the children's lunches ready. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to press that subscribe button and the notifications so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. And I shall see you again soon, guys. I do like this look. I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.